Hello friends, Amy at the Painted Spindle and I have a quick little video on how to make the book page flowers. Um, so you just need, you know, any kind of a book. Um, this is the, the size that I'm using um, and I take, you know, just a handful of pages, tear them out and um, for the bigger leaves um, you want to just fold it in half um, and then I just kind of start at one corner and then work my way around until it's somewhat of a you know semicircle type um, doesn't have to be perfect you know flower petals aren't um, and then that makes you know a bigger petal and then what I do for the smaller ones is I'll fold it in half and then I cut this in half and then I'll fold this in half and then one more time. So you fold it twice and then you do the same thing. You just cut a little semicircle. And then you have a smaller petal. And then how I attach everything is I use hot glue and I just put hot glue on one end and then I fold this end over and then attach the hot glue to that folded end. And then it makes a petal. Kind of like a buttercup shape flower. Um, and then you just continue till you get all the petals made. on how full you want your flower you know you can spread these apart pretty wide and it wouldn't take as many um, or you can because we'll hot glue all these together once we have everything you know all of our petals made to try to cut a bunch out and get them all glued together. That way when you start assembling your flower, it seems to go a bit quicker. You don't have to stop and keep you know, cutting out more petals. It's fairly easy to make. and So we have our larger petals there. And you just do the same process for the smaller. Kind of makes a little cone shape, I guess, is about what the shape looks like. Now we will assemble our flowers. So you just take one of your cone shaped leaves and you're just going to hot glue it onto the other. So I just put a little hot glue right here. Just kind of 
going to hold it down for a second, let, the, let it attach, and then you just keep going around until you get the, the shape that you want. making this rather big. Like a little fan. Very simple. We're going to make a few more. Get a few more foot pages. Fold it in half. And I guess, you know, if you wanted to you can make any kind of design you wanted. You could make it scalloped or, you know, get a pair of pinking shears and maybe cut with that. That would be really pretty. There's all kinds of things that you could do. tutorials on many different types of flowers also that I have seen um, on YouTube and you know you can make roses you can make just all kinds of this one seemed pretty easy so that's the one I wanted to start with stop there if you wanted. Um, you know, you could put something in the middle. I thought a button would be cute. Or you can go on and put some smaller petals in the middle. And you just do the same process. You just put them in a pattern. I kind of like to put it in between two of the bigger me of. And then I think we'll just put this button inside. You can put, you know, anything you want inside. I've got some little wood cut out hearts I've put inside. I had some little, um, this little package of cute garden utensil gardening things from Dollar Tree. It's a watering pail and there's this flower pot and a little wheelbarrow. You can just paint them however you want and, you know, glue one of those in there. And that's really cute, too. Um, so that is the flower. You know, and you can make them all different sizes. Um, you just cut your, your petals out smaller. And so then I'm going to show you how I painted um, the petals. You, you don't 
want a real head or I mean you can if you want I wanted like a watercolor because I kind of wanted to still see the the words behind it so you just need a little bit of paint and a lot of water Just making a watercolor, basically. Very, somewhat translucent. Just mix it up really good. And then you're just gonna paint it on your paper. It doesn't soak the paper, so it doesn't tear. It's pretty sturdy paper. And you can do all colors, you know, any color you want. You can leave them plain. I like them that way too. Um, I like to just do the edges. You know, you could do them with, you could coffee stain them. That would be really pretty. Um, just, you know, how, whatever color you want or no color at all. They all look pretty. I just... I made an arrangement yesterday and just kind of wanted a, a variety of color and I think I did one yellow, one green, and it's red. And if you want a darker color, you know, you can have more paint in there. And this dries pretty quickly too. So your, your flowers don't stay wet for very long. I love making different types of flowers. I, I think it's just so pretty to have an arrangement of, you know, some a different type of artificial flower and this would be good for a bookworm, you know, as a gift or you can make a whole bouquet of these. You know, if you made the rose ones, you can make a bouquet of roses. That would be pretty for Valentine's Day. These last a lot longer than you know a real flower. Real real flowers are beautiful and they smell really good, but this don't last very long. I have also used my heat tool, you know, to to dry them out a little quicker because I wanted to start assembling my my little flower pot that I made little flower garden. Alrighty. And then you, you can just dry it a little bit. And what I used was a skewer and I just um, Put some dark wax on it and um, just glue, you know, um, hot glued it to the back of it. Um, and then, you know, you can stick them down in the styrofoam to make your arrangement. Um, you know, you could also glue this, like maybe onto a frame. That would be really pretty too. Um, you know, and not make an arrangement out of it. pretty frame here, you know, that would be really pretty. Put some kind of really pretty uh, background paper. Um, yeah. Anyway, you could do all kinds of things. Or I made several. I made bigger ones and smaller ones uh, just to make a, an arrangement out of it. Um, you know, you could add other things to it. You could add some lace to it. Um, you know, strips of lace. You could make even make like a little 
rag bow or something to put in the middle. No. Uh, just anything really that you wanted to make. It's, it's all up to you and your imagination. I definitely will be making more and I'll, I'm going to try to make different types. Not just this type, but this one just was easy and, um, you know, for the first one I thought that's what I'm going to try. So that is the book page flower. Um, thanks everybody for watching and um, I will see you next time.